First product that we're going to talk about today is the lock and reload. The lock and reload is an auto mix cartridge coupler. It allows you to take material from one VPS material cartridge that is half empty or two thirds empty and be able to load it back into one of the others. Why do this? Well, it saves time, it saves motion, uh, spent switching cartridges during procedures. Sometimes uh, if you have too little material, it creates newly, uh, in this newly created uh, cartridge, you're not going to run out of material in the middle of an impression. It eliminates the stress and time concerns that you have in changing tips uh, when you don't have that impression material available and now you're no longer compromised in the impression outcomes for timing. So with that in mind, let's look at how this is used. First of all, in taking two partially emptied uh, carpules, which are, I don't know if you can see in the shadow there, but this one's filled to here, this one is filled to about there. And if we look at them, we say, well, here's the V on each of them that goes into our uh, syringe uh, cartridge. So if we take this and we take this off and say that, look at the orange at the tip on, your, uh, on this side here and the white over here. If I take the other one, the other tip off, and do the same thing, you'll see that the colors are on the same side as it relates to these markers. If you look into these two syringes, this is another manufacturer, um, you can see that the two, per, the two slots at the bottom and the purple inside that you see and the white, okay, don't line up the same. So if I put these two together, okay, I'm going to end up with white on purple and that's not going to work. And you can see that Part of the problem is that the labels didn't go on, the manufacturing process wasn't controlled, and so they don't end up with the material on the same side in all their syringes. You will not be able to switch over using the lock and reload in this kind of a situation. One of the things before we use the lock and reload, we have to make sure that both cartridges are cleared. So you can squeeze a little bit of this out onto paper pad, know that there's nothing you know, that's in the way of blocking that, okay? And we're going to do the same thing with the other one, which I've already done. And now we're ready to place the lock and reload on. Now if you look carefully at the lock and reload, you'll see an arrow on here. That one is pointed down, I'm gonna flip that over so it's pointed upward, okay? And what I want is the part that's pointing up is gonna go towards the one that I'm loading. So if I go ahead and see the little notch that's on the side of this that goes into the groove on the side of our cartridge, we place this onto the cartridge where that little groove is. It just slips right on, straight. We do the same thing, we line up orange with orange and just go straight on. It should fit on very nicely, okay? Now I'm just gonna pull this up so I can get a little better handle on it. Can you see that? Okay, and now we take the little tabs that are on the lock and reload and we just turn it, okay? It just twists in the arrow, in the direction of the arrow. So that little arrow that was right here, zoom in again on that if you would, okay? That's the direction that I turned it so that it locks it all together. Now with it locked together, we can take a look at this and we're going to fill the other syringe right up, empty the one that's almost empty. Now we've basically given ourselves this whole new syringe that we're ready to go ahead and utilize. We just unlock it by turning it again. We take the one off and now we have that syringe. We could have two or three syringes that can reload this one up and you know think about all the syringes you might have thrown out. You know the waste that occurs. So besides all the other advantages that we already talked about we now have been able to uh, provide ourselves with a really nice uh, fresh syringe practically. We've now have our cartridge loaded up. If I had a third one, I might have filled this the rest of the way, and we have a full cartridge. This could be with heavy body, light body, whatever it is that you want to use. Obviously, with light body, you're not going to be doing that very much because you don't need a lot of material if you're going directly from this. Um, but this is going to be more with your medium and heavy body materials that it makes more sense to be using it. Of course, you might be placing this into the Mojo syringes uh, that we talked about on another video. So please feel free to look up Mojo uh, syringes for the Mojo 2 for saving material and costs. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video on learning how to use your lock and reload and save money and time and stress.